This is an overview of the hover text reveal content box by Unlimited Elements for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, drag the hover text reveal content box into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it displays a image with a title and when you hover over the box it will show a description text and a call to action button. I'm going to take you over the settings and show you how you can customize this and how you can use this on your website. In the general settings over here we can switch the image to any image that we have in our Elementor website. So I'm just going to switch the image and you can see this adapts automatically to the height. Later on we can change the height. Over here we can change the title, the content, and the text of the read more button and make this button linkable to any link on the page. Of course you can use dynamic tags if you have Elementor Pro activated. Over here in the styling options we can choose to align the text differently. So for example I'm going to align it to the center over here and I can add some radius to my box to make my box rounded and I can add some more padding just to move it up a little bit if I want to. I can add a border and over here in image we can push up the image height so right now that looks even better and we can also give the image a blend mode. Blend modes work with a background color so for example let's change the background color to a blue color and the blend mode to lighten for example just so you can see and now this image has like a blue filter. Let's change this to another example just to see how that looks. And you can play around with the different blend modes to get different effects. Over here in overlay, right now there's an overlay for this whole box that's overlaying on top of the image. And the opacity of the overlay is 60%. And once you hover over, it just gets a little bit light, lighter and gets to 40%. So let's see what we can do with this. So right now the overlay color is a solid color. I'm going to change it to a gradient color, which also looks awesome. Let's change our gradient to, let's say, black to black, but the upper black will be with opacity. So right now you can see there's a nice gradient over here from bottom to top. And you can also play around with the location of the gradient, of course. And let's play around with the opacity of it. So right now let's push the opacity all the way up. So it's like black to opacity. And once we hover, let's lighten it even more. So just so we can see the effect over here looking awesome. Over here in title, you can change the title color, title typography. In text, you can do the same stuff. And in button, you have all the different options to change your button exactly how you want. Padding, colors, borders, whatever you want, hover colors. Let's jump into general over here and change the content vertical align to start. What this will do, it will move our content to the top instead of being to the bottom. And you can also choose over here center. If you want your content to be centered, looks awesome. Let's move that back to the end. And right now I'm just going to show you an example of what I like doing with this type of content boxes. So I've styled it mostly and it's looking pretty good. Over here in the column, I'm going to change the padding to zero and I'm going to duplicate my column. Let's go into one of these boxes, change the radius to zero going to copy the style, right click copy, right click paste style and over here in my section going to change it from box to full width, duplicate the column again and look what an awesome layout we've created over here. So let's just switch up the images so we can see how awesome this looks and how fast this adapts to any type of image that you want. Let's put this guy over here maybe move him to the center maybe let's switch this girl over here let's choose this one look how awesome that is 
Look what an awesome layout. And now we can do anything, any adjustments that we want, but this is really awesome to show your services or products or whatever you want to show. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.